Hi, this is Anthony, and in this video I'll explain the difference between transitions and animations in PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, and I'm using 2016, you will notice that transitions and animations are in two separate tabs on the ribbon. In the Transitions tab, you will see a whole bunch of transitions categorized, and in the Animations tab, you will also find them categorized but a little differently. For example, in this one you've got the entrance, emphasis, and exit, and you also have motion path. And I'll explain the difference between transitions and animations in a moment, but if you'd like to see some of the transitions and animations in action, you can check these videos. Okay, so now let me explain the difference between transitions and animations. So the main difference between the two is that transitions apply to slides, whereas animations are applied to elements or objects on the slide, like text, uh, graphics, pictures, shapes, and anything that you would place on slides. You can apply only one transition to a slide, and what you just saw right now was a transition. Whereas, when it comes to animations, you can apply multiple animations to an object on the slide. So this is the same graphic that I used earlier, and what you just saw was a zoom animation. I can apply another animation, for example, in this case, a swivel. And yet another one called the pulse animation. I will be creating a separate, more in-depth tutorial to show you the intricacies of transitions and animations, but for now let me quickly demonstrate how to use PowerPoint transitions and animations. So I'm in PowerPoint 2016, and I'm going to show you first how transitions work. So I've got two slides here, slide 1 and slide 2, and when you move from one slide to the other, you apply transitions, and you apply the transitions to the following slide, or rather the transition, and in this case slide number two. So for example, when I move from slide one to slide two, I'm going to apply the gallery transition. Now in order to do so, you would go and click on the transitions tab, and then pull this menu down, and then choose the gallery transition. So once you do that, you can click this preview button to see what it looks like. As you can see, that's what the gallery transition is. If you take a look in presentation mode, you would click on slide 1, and then click on this presentation icon, and that's what the gallery transition looks like. If, for example, I do not like that transition, I can apply a different one. So essentially, again, I'd make sure that I'm in the transitions tab, pull this down, and let's just say I want to use this um, switch I can then do a preview and see what the switch looks like. So I hope that gives you a basic understanding of how transitions work. Now of course there are ways to change the duration of the transition and um, some other aspects as well like the effects of the transition. Now let's explore how animations work. Now this is the same graphic that I used earlier and when I go to the animations tab you will see that it's grayed out. As soon as I click on the object, you will see that it activates those animations. So similarly, as you can see here, I've already applied three animations to this um, graphic. That's why you can see 0, 1, 2 here. And right up here, you can um, actually see the animation pane. And if I click on it, you will notice that it displays this little animation pane. There are uh, three animations applied to it. So what you would generally do is, like I mentioned earlier, and of transitions you can apply just one transition for each slide, whereas animations you can apply multiple animations to a particular object or an element on the slide. And in this case, you can see that I've applied three. And if I do a preview on it by clicking this preview button here, you will see that these are the three animations. So essentially, I've got a zoom, I've got a swivel, and then I've got a pulse. Now similarly, like I mentioned earlier, um, for animations, you can change the duration. You can add, to add multiple animations, you click this button right here, and you can apply delays. 
You can also double click on a particular animation in the animation pane and it'll open up this dialog box and it'll allow you to do some uh, finer adjustments. Again, like I mentioned, I'm not going to get too much into detail in this uh, presentation. Using transitions and animations, your presentation is an art, and for your presentation to be effective, you will need to find a good balance so it's not too distracting. So I hope this gives you a good and basic understanding of how transitions and animations work. You can feel free to check the video tutorials on my YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. See you in the next video, and thanks for stopping by.